This is Mission Control Houston. The team here inside the Space Shuttle Flight Control Room are, is reporting that the hooks that connect Atlantis and the International Space Station have begun releasing themselves. We're now two minutes away from Atlantis's undocking from the station, coming up at 10.22 a.m. Central Time. Atlantis now in its final moments, partnered with the International Space Station. We're now one minute from undocking. Atlantis and the International Space Station will be 222 miles above the Indian Ocean, just to the southwest of Australia, at the point that they will bid farewell to one another. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. Houston and station from Atlantis. Physical separation. Copy. Houston, copy. Undocking confirmed at 10.22 a.m. Central Time. Space shuttle Atlantis departing. Once again, Space Shuttle Atlantis has officially undocked from the International Space Station at 10.22 a.m. Central Time, the two vehicles 222 miles above the Indian Ocean just to the southwest of Australia. Atlantis beginning the uh, process of slowly backing away from the International Space Station at this time. This is still sequential video from inside the orbiter docking system ring looking back up at pressurized mating adapter number two. Atlantis now bidding farewell to the International Space Station. This uh, shuttle has served as an important uh, tool in the construction and the assembly sequence of the International Space Station. Atlantis delivered the U.S. Destiny Laboratory back in 2001, also the Quest Airlock in that same year. It has delivered several of the truss segments of the station, the Columbus Laboratory, and of course the ROSFET module, the brand new piece that it delivered on this mission. Atlantis now 15 feet away from the station, slowly backing away. Atlantis, station is now in attitude control. Hawk, i got to tell you, you guys are consummate professionals with a great sense of humor. We were so glad to see you. Love working with you. See you soon, brother, and stay safe. Copy all, TJ, and uh, same comments right back at you, brother. Now 22 feet in between Space Shuttle Atlantis and the International Space Station. The shuttle slowly backing away at a very slow rate. Uh, this will increase over the next few seconds. Atlantis's jets will be armed and will begin the process of backing the shuttle away to a distance of about 400 to 600 feet.
Atlanta's now 35 feet away from the station. You're getting a good view of pressurized mating adapter number two there, and that is the uh, center dark section there on the end of the Harmony node. To the left and the right are Columbus, which Atlantis brought up back in 2008, as well as the Cubo Laboratory. A few minutes ago, you heard Expedition 23 flight engineer T.J. Creamer wishing the crew of Atlantis a fond farewell. He was uh, following not far behind the crew in his journey back to Earth. He and Oleg Kotov and Soichi Noguchi will say farewell to the station as well and come back home aboard their Soyuz coming up on June 1st. Distant of Atlantis, now 45 feet away from the station. The rate still about a tenth of a foot per second. Once again, this is a graphic representation of the current position of Atlantis as it backs away from the station complex. That green cone is what Atlantis is flying exactly down the middle of. In this view, you will also be able to see the jets firing. You will see some uh, yellow dots plume out from uh, that uh, shuttle animation there. Atlantis now 55 feet away from the station. The rate is uh, increasing a bit now, two-tenths of a foot per second. The propulsion officer here in Mission Control is reporting that all of the reaction control system jets have uh, been selected. This is what the crew will now use to increase the distance and the rate between Atlantis and the station. This is another view from the computers here in Mission Control showing Atlantis' current position. 75 feet away from the station, the uh, rate is about almost uh, three-tenths of a foot per second. <laughs> 